offsetting sketch entities. If I one easy way to draw parallel lines or concentric arcs and circles is to offset them. So if I can go up here into my sketch tab and go into my modify panel and I go to offset and I come down and I right click before I select it and I right click and I see that my loop select is uh, checked. That means it's going to pick all the individual parts that form a loop. And also the constraint offset is checked. That means that it's going to copy all the constraints over. So I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm going to come down and I'm just going to pick this entire loop. And it highlights the, the, two, the three lines in the arc. And then I drag it outwards. And it puts a line out. If I can drag it in, it goes in. I drag it out. I key in a value such as 0.25. I hit enter. And it's now created a, a duplicate copy of that. Essentially, it's parallel and concentric with the arcs. Now, if let's try that again over here. I have a rectangle over here. I go to offset. And this time, I'm going to right click to my marking menu. I'm going to turn off my loop. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn off my constraint. And maybe let's keep the constraint on for this one. Okay. So now I'm going to come over and pick just one line. And now it didn't find everything. And it says, all right, select the, the curved offset. I hit enter. And now I drag over how far I want it to go. I'll say I want it to go 0.25 and hit enter. And now it kept in the constraint, so it made it parallel now. And But it only allowed me to select one item uh, because my loop was not selected. Now if I went up and did it again, and I right click, you'll see my loop is still turned off. I want to go and select that, and then I can come over here and pick on this loop, and I can bring it out, say, 0.1. And so it re remembers the last setting of the loop uh, settings. So we can offset stretched uh, our sketched entities either by the loop or by the entity.